for my apple shape video so it's going to be really chill and me just talking you through the jeans that i've got in my wardrobe why i like them um sort of how i style them and sort of why they work for me and some probably work better than others but yeah it will be fun for you to um, sort of tell me which you prefer and if there's any places that you know of jeans that you really like that are about the 50 pound mark do let me know because i don't want to spend that much on jeans but i feel like all my jeans are from top shop so if there was any anywhere else even that um you think would work for me absolutely let me know i'll be happy to check them out um if you do like the video please do subscribe and do thumbs up and let's crack on so first of all um i will talk you through my skinny leg shapes and these are two styles Joni's and Jamie's from topshop so my Joni jeans are these ones here and they are more like jeggings so they are in this nice dark wash indigo they taper right down to the ankle probably end just under the ankle I've got these in a 34 waist and a leg 32, which tends to be the size in all of the jeans I'm going to talk you through from Topshop. 34 waist and leg 32. And um, they are really nice jean for sort of going out. Um, they're super high rise, super high waisted, which is perfect because they really suck in all my stomach um, lumps and bumps. They would be more ideal if they were flat fronted at the front, so they didn't have the button and they didn't have the zip. Um, if they were kind of... Um, size zip instead of the front fly or if they were just pull on they'd probably be more flattering for an apple shape because we don't need added bulk at the front but generally they work quite well they've got two back pockets at the back and that's pretty much it in terms of what's going on with these jeans so as i said they're a great fit because they've got some elastane in them so they really kind of suck everything in they're a nice wash for sort of going out and pairing this with like a going out top and some heels is a really nice look um, and I quite like these as well, just casually on the weekend with a pair of trainers or a pair of ankle boots. Um, the fabric of these is slightly thinner than the Jamie's, so I prefer the Jamie's in terms of um, fabrication. I think they feel a bit heavier, more authentic, but these are a great stretchy type of jean if that's what you're looking for. And um, I think they work quite well on my shape, so I have to be very conscious both with the Jamie's and the Jamie's to kind of balance out my proportions a little bit better because um, as an ankle shape, I carry much more weight around my middle section and have a bigger chest then my legs tend to be my slimmest area so if I'm wearing a very skin tight pair of jeans um, I don't want to sort of be creating that kind of shape where I'm very very inverted and all the heaviness is at the top so I try and balance these out either with um, a chunkier boot or even like um, you could wear a knee high boot if you want just to kind of add a little bit something to that bottom part of your leg so it's not tapering right to the bottom with like a small loafer or something and then the top is where all the volume is so let me show you these in the mirror um in a way that i will style these up so the joni jeans then this is how i would dress them up typically they are a, a really tight um skinny legs so i'll try to dress them up with um, a pair of heels these are about three inches they're really comfy um and then i'll just wear them with a woven top so this is just skimming over my lumps and bumps it's not a tight fitting top i don't tend to tuck anything into my skinny leg jeans or any tuck anything into my jeans um generally because i don't like this part of my um sort of tummy showing and being emphasized so i tend to wear tops that sort of just hang over the top so a nice woven top like this from uniqlo is fantastic i then just again add a little bit more of um proportion and layering with a longer line blazer so this one from zara is perfect for this um just add a little bit more detail with some jewelry so to draw you know the eye away from an area that we're worried about we've got a necklace and a little bit of bling on the wrist and this is definitely how i'd wear a sort of skinny jegging i think it looks really nice i think it looks very flattering on us apple shapes i think a blazer works super well on an apple shape and i think this is just a really nice sort of going out outfit something that i'd go for dinner with in go for drinks with the girls that kind of thing just a really nice vibe so this is how i would definitely dress up a skinny um jegging and then next up as i said with my jamie jeans so these are very similar in terms of um shape so they do Paper again at the bottom here so you've got a thin but a slimmer bottom these end i'd say just above my ankle again these are a 34 and 32 they've got a little bit 
of elastane in them as well but not as much i think they've got a bit of elastane and it could actually just be 100 cotton i think they might just be cotton they are three percent elastane actually so they've got a little bit more of, of a, a stretch in them but not um doesn't feel as stretchy as the journey jeans and i like these in just a plain black wash so i've got these in just this um plain black wash no distressing no fading and these are really nice to be dressed up a little bit smarter as well and then I have them in this blue denim uh, wash, which I really like. I'd probably wear these more over spring and summer than I do now um, in autumn, winter. But it's just the same jean, same leg shape in just a lighter wash, which is a really nice rinse. So these are both five pocket styles. So you've got your coin pocket and your three pockets, two pockets at the front. And then you've got your two pockets in the back. I'd say these are still more of a high rise jean as well. They're a really nice fit. Um, really comfortable and these are probably the jeans that I wore first from Topshop. I still am a true J Jamie Jean fan. I think they fit really nicely and for the price I think they're about £40. I think they're a great fit and really nice quality. So these are my um, sort of chosen skinnies if you like. I prefer these to the Jonies but I do have both in my collection and let me show you how I would style these up. Okay guys, so this is how I would wear these um, Jamie jeans. So these are the kind of lighter wash, which I showed you. Um, I don't like the whiskering on these jeans at the top here. I think they're in a really unflattering place for my leg. They're also very tight. So if you're not into super tight jeans, I think these Jamie's might be a bit too tight for you, but they might be less noticeable in the black. I just wanted to show you them in the blue wash. Um, I'd just wear them with a long line cardigan. I don't own any cardigans, so this is why I'm wearing my duster jacket, but I think a long line cardigan would go really well. Um, and a long line duster just something again to break up the proportions with this duster it works really well because you can still see my leg which is the slimmest part of my body but I'm not showing off the entire thigh which I don't really like <laughs> being on show so it kind of covers it up nicely for me personally wearing a tan bag as well just adds a little bit of interest to the outfit breaks it up a little bit which is nice um not so samey samey matchy matchy i'm having a little bit of interest with the striped top as well i think it looks quite nice it's funny because i think this outfit looks much better with longer line proportions to it so adding some layers i think the outfit doesn't look very nice at all if i was wearing a short coat or something as you can see it's just not as flattering if i don't have something layered it just starts to look a little bit um too tight not as flattering so this is why i prefer to wear like a blazer a cardigan or a duster with this kind of outfit these tighter type jeans um again my t-shirt is just ending at a decent point it's rolling up slightly here but it's ending just where you don't see this bit here so it's all covered but it's not too long that then makes my legs look very stumpy so yeah it's just about proportions with this it's about layering um but i think they look quite nice i think they work quite well again as i said i'd probably wear these in this colorway in the summer and spring much more than i'd wear them in autumn winter okay, so next up we have our boyfriend jeans now these are my favorite leg shape i think that they flatter me the most i think that they balance out my proportions the best and they can also be dressed up or down so i have them in a couple of washes these are slightly lighter than the black jamies i showed you so they're much more casual they're sort of like a washed black um type of wash a little bit grayish if you like um they are turned up at the bottom as you can see so i always wear them with the turn up and they are often worn with uh, my white adidas uh, stan smith I like to dress these down a lot with jumpers and trainers, but they can easily also be dressed up with heels if you would so like. Same with these wash, this wash even of the same style of jean. Now the difference between this one and this one is these are really heavy, heavy quality denim. They're like a cotton, no elastane. They feel very heavy, whereas these ones feel a lot, lot lighter than this one. And I don't know why, because they're supposed to be exactly the same style. Well, they've just used a different fabric. Um, I think these don't have any stretch in them, they're just 100% cotton, but let me check. Yeah, these are just 100% cotton, and um, these are both from Topshop Boutique, if I didn't mention already. So the sizing isn't in terms of waist and leg length, these are in terms of just your standard single sizing. So I've got both of these in a size 16, UK. So what I like about these, as I said, is the rinse wash. They look kind of like they've been washed in grey, which I think is really nice. You've got your turn ups here again, which I think is really nice. These are a four pocket jean because they have the two pockets at the front and the coin pocket here, so three, but then they've only got one at the back and the back one here is printed, which I think is quite a nice design style. 
These are both very casual style jeans. As I said, you can probably dress the black ones up easier than you can dress these up. I like them because I feel like with the added volume they add to the bottom half of my body, they balance me out a little bit better. So I think this is probably the main reason why I like these jeans. They're also really comfy too. They're just a really nice, easy, chill, throw on jean that I wear at the weekends and also um, at work on dress down Fridays. I don't tend to wear jeans as much these days because I can only wear them once a week at work and then at the weekend. So I don't have a huge, huge selection, but these, this style will definitely be my style of choice. Um, boyfriend jeans work really well for us apple shapes because they do balance us out. Um, another style at Topshop is the Hayden. Um, I used to have a pair of Hayden jeans and they were ripped and they were really quite nice in my shape as well. I think we can get away with that kind of ripped styling. It would be quite nice for us because it then tends to draw attention away from this section here and draw attention much you know, further down our body to our legs, which is our best part. So I definitely think ripped jeans work really well for us, that kind of distressing, raw hems, all that kind of thing. Um, I prefer this shape of boyfriend because they're a little bit slimmer than the Haydens. I found the Haydens that I had were very, very baggy. They were starting to venture on the unflattering side, adding too much to my bottom half. So this style is great. I think girlfriend jeans work really well for our shape as well. Something that adds a little bit more volume, but not too much, and something that's not too, too tight that makes us look awfully out of proportion okay guys so these jeans i've decided to keep the same t-shirt on as in the previous um pair of jeans i've just added a pop of color to kind of bring out quite a monochrome outfit what i love about these boutique boyfriend jeans is the fact that they add a little bit more volume to the bottom half of my body so i look a little bit more in proportion i like the turn ups and the fact that you can see my ankles which are the slimmest part of my body um i think this t-shirt works much better than with the previous jeans just because um it's, I don't know, it just feels a bit more in proportion. I feel like it's ending again really nicely in a nice position, so it's quite flattering. I think the overall look is quite relaxed, quite laid back, much, much more my vibe. I don't feel as self-conscious as needing to cover up as much, but I still probably would wear um, this outfit with a blazer, with a duster jacket, with a cardigan if I had one, <laughs> um, that kind of thing, just as a bit more of like a cosy, layered up vibe, but I don't feel else self-conscious wearing this with just a top, as opposed to having to feel like I've got to cover up my thighs and stuff like that. I just love the fit, there's not too much extra fabric, but there's a little bit of give on this side, which I think is really nice. Um, I've got a belt on with these, so you could also just do a little front tuck if you felt um, comfortable doing that and if you like that kind of look. I thought I'd just also show you these on with a bomber and to see that you can actually wear these boyfriend jeans without having to have a longer coat as you can see. Because they're not as tight, I don't feel that I need to cover up my thighs as much. I think they work really well with a sort of shorter jacket. So if you are somebody who likes a denim jacket or a leather jacket or a bomber, um, these kind of boyfriend shapes work well on us Apple um, body shapes and you can actually then get away with wearing a shorter jacket and not needing something as long lines. So following on from boyfriend Boyfriend jeans we have straight leg jeans now these are the only pair of straight leg jeans I have and they are my vintage Le Levi's so they look quite big here and they are they are a man's jeans so the fit is slightly different to a woman's jean these are vintage Levi 550s and they're actually in a waist 38 and a leg 30 and I think that's because vintage sizing was always a lot smaller than um, you find in vintage shops that the sizing is a lot smaller so if you're a 16 in, um, now you're probably going to be like a 20 in a vintage in vintage clothing the sizing was slightly different um so these i got from a vintage store in edinburgh and i absolutely love them i found a lot of the straight leg jeans that i see all over the shop um don't fit me in terms of i don't know they just don't fit <laughs> um i can't get them on they, they just don't work i don't know what it is over the portions so I found that these actually did fit um, and I was really really happy with those so I think I'm going to be looking for straight leg jeans in vintage shops um, and particularly vintage Levi's as opposed to what I'm seeing in the shops now I might try Urban Outfitters and I might try some straight legs from um, ASOS just to see if they work for me but I can definitely tell you the straight leg jeans I tried in Topshop do not fit my body shape so what I like about these is the fact that they are straight leg. There's no elastane in these, they just go straight down. Again, they add a little bit more of that volume that we need as apple shapes um, to the bottom half of our body. I've styled these with a black shirt, which I really like, and I'll pop the Instagram picture up here for you to see. Um, and I just think they're a really great addition to my wardrobe. If I don't want that kind of more baggy boyfriend fit, 
I think these are a really cute style. They're very on trend and you find straight leg jeans everywhere. And I think the good thing is to show you in this video, we can also wear trends. We don't have to be sticking to very boring shapes or things that, you know, on as on trend as others we can still follow the trends but just try and style them up in a way that um, suits us and fetters our body shape so let me show you how i would style these jeans okay so these are the vintage levi's they are the five five zeros and i've just paired them with my and other stories wrap heels with a small block heel there i've got my zara pearl jumper and i think this is a really nice relaxed holiday type of look as the christmas holidays are just around the corner I like these jeans because they've got the high rise here, really long rise, as you can see the waistband's right here, so it kind of holds everything together. And I think they just look really nice on our body shape. I think they add a nice level of proportion here and just worn with like a very relaxed type of jumper, a very chilled out style. They look nice at the back as well, not making things look too flat at the back, which is nice. <laughs> and I really like these jeans. So I think these actually might be my preferred jeans over the boyfriend jeans. Um, these number one and then the boyfriend jeans second. But it just goes to show that we can wear a fashion fit and we can wear a lighter wash. These are both those things. And I think they work really well. So don't be afraid of a straight leg and definitely try out vintage stores and the menswear section for those types of looks. And then finally, I purchased a pair of jeans to show you that we can also wear another fashion shape and this is a cropped jean now for us as apple shapes bootlegs and bootleg jeans even crop jeans kick flares all that kind of style fashion style can work on us and that's a great thing to know as i said it's not having about having to be very boring and bulk standard with your jean shapes so these i picked up from Topshop to illustrate the point they are a wide leg cropped with a jean with a frayed hem and you can actually fray these more, they're not like super frayed, I'd probably fray these a lot more. And these are basically a culotte. Now I love culottes as you well know and this is probably something for slightly taller girls but you can even get these in a shorter leg length. So I think you can get them in a 30, I got them in a 34 so don't be put off if you are shorter and watching this video because you can still wear a crop jean and just get a shorter leg length which is probably better than a lot of the culottes out there because they're just one standard length. So the reason why these work is because again they add volume to the bottom half of our body, they've got some styling details which will draw the eye and they're just going to make us more proportionate than we usually are. So I love um, a cropped jean, I love a cropped um, trouser in general, I think they work really well and again these can be dressed up or down, you can wear these all season, you can wear them with some wedges and some chunkier sandals in um the summer you can wear them with trainers you know there's so many ways you can wear this type of jean these are just the um crop from top shop and i will um link all these down below they're the motto brand they're not one of the other type of jean brands in top shop but i'll link everything down below for you as i said i've got these in a 36 34 so the other ones are all in the 34 32 for some reason they fit i don't know if it's because they've got a bit more give or what but these cropped ones i had to get them in a 36 um and a leg length 34 so let me show you how I would wear these crop jeans, but it's just comforting to know that we can follow fashion trends and we don't have to just stick to very boring washes, very boring um, styles of jeans and leg shapes. We can wear straight legs, we can wear crops, we can wear um, flares, which are great for us. We can wear um, skinny jeans. It's just about how we kind of put the whole outfit together. When we have the cropped jeans from Topshop, I love these jeans. I think they fit really nicely. I think cropped jeans on us apple shapes work really well as well. A cropped wide leg. Again, it's showing off the slimmest part of my body, which is my ankles. I've got a loose fitting um, woven top here. This It's from Uniqlo. It's got the slits up the side, which is nice. And it just comes down a little bit longer. I think it works really well. I think this can be dressed up or down, these crop jeans. And um, I actually bought these just to illustrate to you that we can wear a fashion style and we can wear a crop jean. But actually, I think I might keep these because I really, really like them. I got them in the length 34, so they come down slightly lower. If you do get them in the 32, they might just come up, you know, something like that, a little bit higher. So just, um, you know, beware if you want them to come down a little bit longer, then do get the length 34, which is what I've got. Or if you're shorter than me, 32 might be the trick. 30 might be a little bit shorter for you. So yeah, I like this look. I like these crop jeans. I think they work well for us. And I hope it's illustrated that having these jeans with a slightly wider bottom, personally for me, I think might work much better on an apple shape than those jeans that are very, very tight, like the ones I showed you at the beginning. So these are probably 
again featuring quite highly on my favorites and i think i'm actually going to keep these <laughs> And that, guys, is the end of my favourite jeans for my Apple Shape. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I hope it was encouraging for you guys to know that, you know, just because we are Apple Shapes and we have a bit more um, weight carried around a different area of our bodies, mainly the middle section, you know, we can still wear a great array of different types of jeans. For me, personally, I've kept to my black and my um, indigo washes because that's just what suits me and I feel like I like those for my personal style. But of course, you guys can go out for khakis, you can go for whites, you can go for all other colors that you like. Um, as I said, it's just my personal preference. We actually do manage to get away with wearing lighter washes very well as well. So don't be afraid for your sort of lighter wash um, denims as well as darker shades. Um, if there are any other apple shape videos you'd like to see from me do let me know down in the comments below again please do recommend some jean brands for me i'm happy to venture out of my top shop bubble and find some jeans i actually really really love so um, i'd be really happy to receive some recommendations from you guys i am gonna leave you and love you guys now i will see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.